My uh, family's lived here for about 300 years. Um, we moved here um, from barely 20 miles to the south, where we were for the preceding 600 years or so. Scampton Hall plays a hugely important part in the local community. We are one of the major leisure destinations in the area. Um, we obviously play a very important role in the village uh, and in the wider local area we are one of the largest employers and so yes I think we are a hub for the local community. I, I think for people coming to visit this garden what it really means to them is, is a, it's a day out and so it's hopefully building memories for them and it's memories that will hopefully last a lifetime um, and also it's nice to sort of have that thing where people are interacting with the design and interacting with the plants and taking those ideas home and, and replicating them in their own gardens at home and it's sort of feeding into that long-term memory thing. We employ approximately 15 full-time staff all year round, but obviously in the season when we're open we, we gear up a lot with seasonal staff. We'll add you know, 20 to 30 people during the season in, in various roles in the cafe, in the ticket office, duty managers and so forth. We also have a quite large number of volunteers here at Scapston. We have people who volunteer in the garden. They come in on a Thursday. Um, we also have a number of people who volunteer here in the Heritage Learning Centre where, where we're sat at the moment. Um, who help with uh, the programme we run, the heritage learning activities that we run for um, hundreds of school children and, and um, people with disabilities. The main challenges for us um, are really the repair and renovation bills that we get. They, in terms of cash flow, they are the things that come in that are vast and, and chunky in, in terms of the, 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 the general annual sort of profit and loss or cash flow of something like this. So, you will, you will have a building where the, the repair and maintenance cost of that building is, is really, really significant and cannot be done out of your, just your general annual um, earnings. So that is a massive challenge for us. We've, we have achieved a lot in the last decade, but we've still got plenty more to go at. Um, we, we, we can't do everything, we're doing our best, but that is probably the biggest challenge as, as a heritage estate for us is the repair and renovation projects that we've got all over the place. In terms of outstanding projects, we've got um, a, a very, very pretty and very large home, uh, old stackyard, a farmyard effectively. It, used to be, it was a dairy and there were cattle in there and um, probably there was a piggery part of it and everything, but it's a very attractive old farmyard. Um, it is derelict. I've considered all sorts of options for it. We've looked at um, wedding venues, art galleries, um, holiday lets, little business units for sort of arts and crafts type businesses and so on and so forth. However, the cost of conversion is significant. It, it, it's well into seven figures. It's been in my in-tray for 10 years, really, <laughs> I've been looking at it, um, but it is top of my wish list. Here at Scampton we do have a heritage maintenance fund um, that was set up many, many moons ago by my father and stepmother. Um, it was used at the time, it was used as a vehicle to completely restore Scampton Hall, which they did. It, it is now dormant, there's, there's 10 quid in it or something like that. Um, it, the new tax regime means there's absolutely no point whatsoever in, in using it. Um, I think if it changed so that the tax rate reduced from 45% to 20%, Yes, I would give very serious thought to um, starting it up again. It would make a huge sense to move um, some assets into it, for example, particularly some non-IHT friendly assets such as cottages. And it would help us enormously actually in, in, in providing a fund for, for maintenance of, of all the heritage assets that we have around here in the future. We are always here at Scampston aspiring to get more visitors around Scampston. We don't we don't do this because we have to, we do it because we enjoy doing it. It is a business for us, we, we run it as a commercial entity. Everything we do at Scampton we are, we are doing to try and increase the number of visitors, increase visitor access, improve the visitor experience so that more people come. I hope when I have complete my innings of custodianship here at Scampton that I, I will leave with visitor numbers significantly higher than they were when I arrived and that, that's my aspiration.